Yo, what's going on, people? It's me, Nazuddin, and welcome to another one of my food reviews. Today, I'm back in Green High Blue Water to try out Wingstop. Wingstop have 3.3 stars. Now, that's not a good start. Rick Ross apparently has a share in Wingstop. So, I wonder if Rick Ross's chicken are as good as his music. Nah, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> I don't even listen to Rick Ross. But nonetheless, he looks like he's someone that enjoys his food. And without wasting any more time, let's get started. Ooh, what did I get? Oh yeah, yeah, where's my receipt? Okay, I lost my receipt. Um, I got the full flavor mix, is what it's called on the menu. And it's 13 pound 50, and I got a refillable drink. Unlimited refills on the drink. I think is three pound fifty. Three pound fifty, and at first I got Dr Pepper. Back to the machine. It's a, one of those Coca-Cola free machines where you get to choose the flavors. And I got myself Fanta with strawberry, cherry, and raspberry. Summer fruits, summertime. Even if the weather says otherwise. Oh, napkins, gloves. They've given me gloves. Cheese. Ranch sauce. Honey mustard sauce. Or dip. These are the fries. Lemon and herb. Or oh, lemon and pepper. Lemon and pepper fries. Boom. my chicken tenders looking messy I think that's what the gloves are for and oh, my wings uh, I've got I think this is the mango and habanero and I can't remember what that is I can't remember what that is anyway first thing let's try the chips Chips are average, average, warm chips with the skin on. I, I like my chips with the skin on. Focus on this, motherfucker. Yeah, I like my chips with the skin on. Tastes bang average. Fork. There you go, wings, chips, tenders, more wings. So two different flavor wings, mango habanero, don't remember what the other one is. And there's lemon and pepper chips. Okay, there you go. Honey and mustard sauce, ranch sauce, wings, chips, tenders, more wings. Right, let's put the let's put my glove on. My hands are a bit too fat for these gloves, or these gloves are too small. Jesus Christ. My hands need to lose weight. Oh, that is not comfortable. Look at that. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Back to the chips. I'm gonna dip in the honey and mustard sauce. Chips and the honey and mustard sauce. Those chips, by the way, are poor, man. There are 4.5 chips. And that honey and mustard sauce takes it up a whole point, making it a 5.5. And the ranch sauce, ranch sauce. Mm. The ranch sauce is slightly better. The ranch sauce make those chips a six. They're a 4.5. Add the honey and mustard sauce. They're a 5.5. Add the ranch sauce. They're a six. Now I'm enjoying it. Now I'm enjoying these chips. Boom. Boom. Mm. 
You can taste the lemon and you can see the pepper. You can taste the lemon and pepper. It gives it a nice little flavor. Put it in the sauces, it, it, it makes it so much more better. Do not eat these chips without any of these dips. Well, let's start with this tiny wing. This is not the mango and habanero, this is more, I don't know, we'll find out. <coughs> this makes you cough, man. It's a Corona wing, Corona flavored wing. It's not hot. <coughs> it's not a hot wing. I don't know what I think it's garlic. I can taste garlic in there. I can taste pepper in there. But I couldn't tell you what this is. That if your wing looks like where is it gone? If your wing when you go to wing stop looks like this, just return it and ask for a different one. I can't remember what the favour was. But return it and ask for another one. I can't even find the bloody receipt. Is that it? Oh, I found the receipt. So those wings were... It, it doesn't tell you the flavour of the wings. Oh well. Uh, I think I need gloves for, for these. And I have gloves of my own. And I hope these fit better. No, they're worse. Okay, I'm gonna have to wash my hands later. This is the mango and habanero, and this is supposed to be really hot. Ooh. It's not actually that hot, it's spicy. It's spicy, you can taste the mango, you can taste the habanero, and if you've got a weak spice, what's the word? Spice. Some bloody word, spice levels. I don't know what the word is. I'll Google it later and I'll put it down. If you got a weird, weird spice tolerance, if you got a weak spice tolerance, if you've got a weak spice tolerance, and for you that's super hot, but it's but it tastes like it tastes like mango with sweet chili to be honest, with a little kick. But that one, that wing, the mango habanero is much better than this mysterious wing. Maybe, maybe. You're supposed to dip it on the dipping sauce. I put it in the honey and mustard. That's much better. <laughs> it's much better. Let me find another one of those mysterious wings. I'm dipping the ranch sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So if you get, so if you end up accidentally getting the wing that looks like that, dip it in the sauce. I mean, these sauces are so far the best thing about this meal. The mysterious wings. Oh, uh, Mysterious Wings, what should I give them? Mysterious Wings, I'll give them a 4.5 as well, they were poor. However, the Mango and Habanero Wing is a 7.2. So Mango and Habanero Wing, 7.2. And last but not least, the Chicken Tenders. They, they don't look great, to be honest. And they don't taste that great either. It's got a lot of flavor, there's a lot of flavor going on. Again, I can't remember what flavor I picked. But I, if you remember in, I think it was my last video, I had chicken tenders from Slim Chickens and they are far better than these chicken tenders from Wingstop. Much, much better in Slim Chickens for chicken tenders than in Wingstop. These are, these are, these are not great. Let's dip them. Yeah. Basically, wherever you order from Wingstop, Make sure you get that honey mustard sauce, make sure you get the ranch sauce and just drown it. Drown all the chicken, drown the chips, drown everything in them two sauces and it will just make it so much more better. And chicken tenders, you know, five. Five out of ten for those chicken tenders. Not great, not terrible, a lot of flavour but nah, it's Rick Ross, come on man. Anyway, I'm going to finish off everything here because never waste food. So let me finish my meal and I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm a huge fan of this honey and mustard sauce. Huge fan, I don't even like mustard. But this honey and mustard sauce is amazing, man. Nice, sweet honey flavor. 
and, a, and that sub sub tool mustard kick. Wings are so dry, man. Just a quick thing to point out if you ever order wings and you don't leave it like that, then you haven't had a wing. Simple as. All the wings, you, you you eat that top bit, that, that what's it called, the cartilage. You eat that, trust me. Thank me later. That's the best bit about a wing. And I know mainly it's, it's I don't want to be controversial. And I don't want to come across racist. But it's you white people. It's you white people. It is. I ain't never seen a brown or black person not eat that part. That part is the main part. Maybe because we're just from poorer countries and we just don't waste nothing and we just eat whatever's edible. Maybe. Can't be wasting food like that. See this bit? This bit here? That's the bit. Whew. I'm trying to finish it, but I'm not enjoying it. I'm so disappointed. Man, Rick Ross, belly like that. I thought you'd know good food. It seems like you just eat food in general. Just eat and don't give two thing about quality or taste or nothing you just see food and you eat it so bad i'm changing the score i gave it a five it's now a 3.8 this price this price this food if it weren't for the government with their 50 percent eat out to help out never in hell would i pay for this ever again 17 quid for all this in the drink oh yeah the drink Fanta mixed with cherry, strawberry, and raspberry. Oh, that is one amazing drink. That's the best drink in the world. Coca Cola free mix, Fanta, strawberry, cherry, raspberry. Best drink ever. Trust me, best drink ever. It's the best thing they got in there. It's not even theirs. me done that mango and habanero is starting to hit my tongue right now and I'm still sucking my fingers that mango and habanero is nice yeah that mango and habanero is nice Ooh. this drink is a must thank me later messy hands in wing stop more like fucking corona stop man got me coughing and everything luckily i carry wipes yo yeah so wing stop blue water don't go there simple as that i mean it's not worth the full price if you want to try it out take advantage of the government's help scheme the 50 percent thing and then try it out would i pay 17 quid for what did i get eight wings three tenders portion of chips for £13.50 full price at £13.50 nah it's worth that half price it's not even worth it's full price yeah it's a £7.50 mil you know, you know what I'm so disappointed I'm actually really disappointed I'm just so glad that I didn't pay full price for this the only thing I'm happy about is this drink it's the only thing I'm happy about that drink, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Because I made it. I invented it. Thank me later. But no, but Wingstop, though, no, the, the mango and habanero was nice. I will give that wing a 7, 7.2. But everything else, the tenders, the chips, the other mysterious wings, no, don't do it. You want, you want chicken tenders, you're in blue water or you're in they have other branches as well and there's a there's another spot try out the other spot 
I mean, if you're in blue or you want chicken tenders, go to Slim Chickens. So much more better. He's just, he just, he tasted cheap. You want hot wings, get your classic hot wings from KFC. Damn. If there's a favorite chicken, go favorite chicken. If there's a little fried chicken shop, get your wings from there. No, overall, highly disappointing. I don't, I don't see them surviving for much longer, to be honest with you. Especially at the price point. They only open, they open after lockdown. They open shortly after lockdown. And they're gonna close shortly after Christmas. The price and the, and, and the quality of food you're getting, it's just, it's not there. I wanted it to wow me. It didn't even make me think, ah, it's all right. Yeah, Cause it's not. Glove, that don't even fit my fat hand. But then again, to be fair, neither did the other glove did it. So it's probably my hand in it and I'm not, not the gloves. But yeah, should you guys visit Wingstop? I don't think you should. Maybe if you had that discount. And even then I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there again. Nah, I wouldn't go there again. If I, 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 I'm in blue or quite regularly and, and I would opt for slim chickens instead. No, disappointed, overall disappointed. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below of what you thought of Wingstop. I know there's quite a few of them. I think there's one in Covent Garden in central London and uh, one near Battersea, I think. If there's more, I haven't got a clue. Um, Wingstop, overall, 5.5. 5.5 out of 10 overall. That had the mango and habanero wing and this drink. Peace out.